What's up, everybody? It's the Blind Bearded Chef Zeke, y'all. That's me. That's me. Um, Let's see. I've been struggling with COVID for about two weeks now, so I'm finally feeling better. And so I say, um, some of my taste buds then came back, so I feel like eating some Caribbean food. So I decided that I am about to do Jamaican brown stew chicken. How about that? Yeah, I got my taste back. I'm going to fix me a little cocktail with it. I want me a pineapple amaretta. So my appetite is back. I'm tired of eating soup. And I'm about to make me a good dish. I'm still a little nasally, but y'all see I'm still smiling and everything. So um, I'm doing okay. So let's cook and let's eat. <laughs> All right. I've cut my chicken up. I've cleaned it with vinegar water. And um, I got it cut into 13 pieces. So that's two legs, two thighs, two wings. I cut the breast into four pieces and I cut the back into three pieces. So we're gonna marinate this overnight. So let's start off putting some olive oil on our chicken. So the olive oil, so I will season the stick. That's good, about right there. You can season your chicken with whatever you want to season your chicken with. I'm about to tell you what I'm going to put in mine. So, I'll put the measurements in the description box. So, I have here, um, where I'm at? some allspice. So, if you don't have pimento berries or pimento seeds, use allspice. I'm gonna put some pimento berries in here too also, but I just wanna sprinkle, I wanna sprinkle a little allspice in here. Okay, so allspice, that's cool. Okay, I want to put some, uh, some ginger. Even though I got some fresh ginger I'm gonna use, I want a few, okay. Few sprinkles of ginger. All right. Let's put in some. Um, come on here. Let's put in some garlic powder. Yeah. So we gonna we gonna cook like this today. I'm not doing a. Just doing a rough move. Rough measurement like that. Okay. I'm sorry, that was onion powder. Right here is the garlic powder. Yeah. All right. Garlic powder. When I tell you, this is going to be delicious. Brown stew chicken is similar to our um, smothered chicken or fricassee chicken. Okay, the reason why the Jamaicans call it brown um, stewed chicken because they, you're going to brown the chicken first, then stew it. If you just to do stewed chicken, you wouldn't brown the chicken first. You put everything in the pot and um, cook it through there. This is um, um, Maggie. This is Maggie all-purpose seasoning. That's used a lot in the Caribbean kitchen. So Maggie, all-purpose seasoning. All right. We're also going to put some um, flavor rice. This is a seasoning I've seen on Daddy's Kitchen on YouTube. Um, he's a Jamaican um, guy that cook in Canada, and he always uses flavor rice. So I found me some flavor rice on Amazon. You can say you can get it from Costco also. Let me show this. Huh, I don't even have it open. Let me see. No, I didn't have it open. It has a good flavor. Okay. Some flavor rice. Oh, wow. This smells good already. Okay. All right. 
think that's good enough. All right, flavor rice. All right, now let's put some, um, I'll put a tad bit of Cajun seasoning. Maybe about that much right there. Mm. That was maybe a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. Let's put some black pepper. Some fresh cracked black pepper. And I say all oh, this smells good. It smells good and I can't. I got a cold. But I can smell. Come on, black pepper. Come on, fresh black pepper. I'm telling you, this chicken is going to be good. And I got one more thing I want to put. Uh, let's put some of these. Put some of these pimento seeds. About. Mm, I say about a teaspoon of them. Okay. Check on my pimento berries, pimento seeds. And let's put some. Let's put some Maggie. Maggie seasoning, um, liquid seasoning. It's about that much. Mm, so I say that's about a tablespoon of Maggie liquid seasoning. All right. So that's all my dry. Oh, let me take my hand. Let's mix all this up. And mix all this up, and I'll be right back. Oh, this smells good already. Lord have mercy. <laughs> all right. Also, what I'm about to do, I'm about to go ahead and add a little brown in our. I'm gonna put about a teaspoon. Let me see. About that much right there. Put about a teaspoon of browning in there. They call it browning. We may call it kitchen bouquet or browning. Yeah, we that be equivalent to our kitchen bouquet. All right. Oh, uh, that's in there now. Let's add these good aromatics. Okay. So about to put in here one chopped onion and a bunch of, um, one bunch of chopped scallions or green onions. Okay. Put that in there. That's one chopped yellow onion. And that's one bunch of green onions or scallions. Okay. Now, let's put our bell peppers or sweet peppers. I'm gonna use four different colors. So, let's put some, um, let's put some green in there. So we're gonna say one fourth of each. We're gonna say one fourth of each pepper. So we'll put the green in there. We're going to put some yellow, some yellow in there. I know each pepper has its own taste. Yep, each pepper has its own taste. We're gonna put some, I don't know if this is orange or red, but we're gonna put some of that in there. Okay. Okay, put that in there. Yeah, buddy. Right, got that in there. What else we gonna put in there? Here we got the uh, ginger. So this is about two tablespoons of fresh ginger. Ginger root, okay. Garlic. Let's put 
put our gonna put the scotch bonnet pepper in there. That I chopped up. Garlic, that's about hmm. This much is it? Okay. That's about eight cloves of garlic. All right. I think that's all I want to put in there. That's all for now. Yeah, that's it. I think that is everything. All right. Now, let's mix all this in here. Mix all that in there. Now, I'm just going to go cover it in the refrigerator. And we're going to marinate this overnight for at least eight hours. Mm. Mm. It smells good. Now when I get ready to brown this chicken down, I gotta take, um, gotta make sure none of these seasonings, um, vegetables are, uh, did my chicken fall? Oh, that's what I did. It's not on the chicken. But this is to marinate overnight and get all those aromatics and flavors in there. Oh, I forgot one thing. Let's put in my um, let's put in about a tablespoon of thyme. There we go. Gotta have my first time. Gotta have my time. This is dry time because when I went in the refrigerator, my thyme had dried up, so it was fresh. There we go. Oh yes, that thyme smell good. That scotch bonnet pepper gonna give it just the right spice we need. And I'm about to show y'all later on today how this is going to be mm -mm good. All right, y'all. Okay, so I'm about to cover it up. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator about eight hours. All right, and I'll see y'all when it's time to cook it. All right, y'all. It's been 12 hours. We've been having this chicken marinating in the refrigerator. Let's uncover it. I've left it out on the counter for about 15 minutes so it can get back to temperature. Look at that. Ooh. And I forgot one thing. I forgot my smoked paprika. So I'm going to put some, a little smoked paprika in there. About a teaspoon. Okay, about a teaspoon about right there. Okay, now let's turn the heat on this skillet. I'm going to cook in front of y'all with the electric skillet today. Let me make sure that, okay, be right back, y'all. All right, heat your pot up, your skillet up. I would do this in a cast iron skillet, I mean a cast iron pot, but I didn't feel like pulling it out. So go do another electric skillet. So, we gonna, let's put our chicken in. All right. We're about to brown our chicken. So you pretty much take it out of that. Try not to get any of your um, seasons on there. And let's brown this down. Like I say, this is gonna be um, brown stew chicken, or you could say a fricassee. I'm gonna call it brown stew because I'm using the Jamaican ingredients in there. Right back. All right. See, that's why I like using the skillet. I was able to get the entire chicken in there. So we're gonna let this brown down. So I'm gonna say about um five to six to seven minutes 
So why is fine right there? I'm going to um I'm gonna put the lid on it. Put the lid on it like this so it can seep down and get real juicy as it's frying down. All right, let's brown it. All right. <clears throat> It's been frying for about 10 minutes on this side. And it's about time to flip. Let me, let me flip it over. Let me start on this end. Okay. Come on, flip, baby. Good and brown. So let me flip all my pieces and I'll be right back. Ah, I should be using my hands. <laughs> all right, I got all of it flipped over. Now I'm gonna let it, we're gonna let it brown on this side. Get your pretty brown color on there. All right. All right. It's time to take this chicken out. So, let me turn this heat off. And let's put the brown down chicken in the bowl. Okay. So we got it brown down. And I'll show y'all the next step. Put it in the bowl. Okay, we poured most of that oil out of the skillet. You want to turn it back on. And now, let's put those vegetables in there. All that vegetables we had marinating that chicken in. I'm about to put that in there. Oh, all just seasoning and everything. Yeah. We're gonna rinse this bowl here with a little chicken stock. It's gonna go in there. Okay. So let me get this here. Yeah, buddy. But that's our ginger, our pepper, you know. Everything y'all see me marinate that chicken in. Let's start take this down. Oh, that smells good, yeah. We're gonna add the chicken back to it in a few minutes. We got a few more ingredients to put in here. And I'll be back. All right. Let's add the chicken back to the pot. Let's add the chicken back to the skillet. All right, y'all, I got the chicken back in there. Uh, now, right here, I have four cups of chicken stock, and in there, I also have two tablespoons of ketchup. So let's pour that in here. Okay. Let's put in one diced tomato. Okay, let's put in some carrots. That's about three carrots. 
and we have some Irish potatoes. About two Irish potatoes. Okay. Stir all of them here. I'll let you know we need more water, more stock or not. So now, we about to sit up there and put the top on this. Okay. All right, we got it at a row and ball. Now I'm about to put the top on it. Put the top on it, and we're gonna turn it down to medium low. All right, about to let it stew down. We'll see you in about 30 minutes. All right, y'all, it's been stewing for about 30 minutes. And look at that. It is ready. It's ready. Let me go like this. Y'all see that? Y'all see that brown stew chicken? Mmm, mmm. Oh, I smell that allspice, those pimento berries. Look at that. See that? Chicken tender. I'm gonna break it apart. Yeah, that's the breast there. All right, all we gotta do is let it cool. I'm gonna do some yellow rice. So I'm just gonna have me some rice with the gravy and some chicken. There we go, y'all. Jamaican brown stew chicken, my way. Got a little spice in there too, that, that scotch bonnet kicking. <laughs> there go my plate, y'all. I'm hungry. I got me three pieces of chicken holding there with some yellow rice, with my gravy, with the carrots and potatoes. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I still got that cough. Yeah, I'm still congested, but I can taste and smell. My taste came back the other day. I've been having this for about two weeks. Take my cap off. How y'all doing? All right. Uh -uh. All right. Told y'all I was making me a cocktail. Mm. Pineapple amarella, y'all. That go good with this dish. I'll get you some rum punch. That'll go good with this too. Make it all Caribbean. All right. Let me mix my rice up with this gravy. With the carrots and potatoes. Oh, this smells so good. And it's spicy too. All right here. You go my chicken leg. Y'all see my chicken leg? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Oh. Mm, mm. Y'all, this is good. Do a little rice. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. Not just because I'm the one that fixed it. This is delicious. That Scotch bunny pepper got it kicking. Just enough heat. Mm, mm. All right, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Figure looking good. As I say, y'all seen the blind man cook it? Now go cook you some. <laughs> God bless y'all. Take care. Be safe. And keep your mask on. I got this COVID in 20 minutes with my mask off, y'all. So be safe and careful. This stuff is no joke. God bless. Take care.